Hello people, welcome to the United Way. We are back with five things we learned. Manchester United 3, Leicester 3. Look, for uh, for those of you who have been watching our videos, I want to tell you guys big thanks, guys. It's because of you, not really because of you I'm doing this, but because of you, I'm coming back with all the difficulties I'm going on with my private life. I'm here for your energy. Uh, I'm thanking you guys. So guys, please, for those of you who watch this video, always click the share button. Please, thanks for you doing that. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. You won't like everything I said. If you don't like it, dislike the video. That also helps me to understand where you are and what I'm saying. But yeah, let's kick, get straight into it. The real news today, the, the news yesterday doesn't matter. Three points in the back. Good for uh, Ruda Van Isteroy. But the big news today is Roman. It's... um uh that we have a uh, robin amorin who is already in manchester he's on the flying to manchester coming today look we always heard that he's going to start today but uh, we have had some information here from the mirror who has said he cannot start because he has issues with his papers his work permits and uh no the necessary documentations in order to work in the uk are not really in, in place yet it might be by the end of the evening which means uh, robert amorin will not take part in the training today. So who is going to take part in the training today? Is it going to be Van Nistelrooy? Who? I don't know. I mean, people shouldn't lie to you. You have to really be an insider to know. But we are Manchester United fans, so we'll talk about what we know. And one of the things we know is that um, um, Ruth Van Nistelrooy had a very good shot interim uh, position in Manchester United. If he leaves the club, he's living on a high. And this is what uh, very few managers know how to do. See, Alex Ferguson knew that, and the other player or the manager who did something similar was Zinedine Zidane. It's very important for you to leave the um, league on a high. So, yeah, yesterday we had a fantastic game from Ruth Van Nistelrooy. I want to talk about Ruth for the last time as our manager, please. I know Amorin is uh, is uh, uh, the the star man. I mean, the amateur star man because most of our, our, our fans today, the younger ones. I mean, let's face it, the younger ones have enough time to watch football. So those of you who do all this stuff. So look, this is what I, uh, Bruno said about uh, Ruth Van Nistere, which I personally don't really like it. I like, I don't really agree with it, and I'll tell you why. Van Nistere loves the club. We wanted uh, to say goodbye as uh, a manager for him properly because he did uh, good things for us. This is Bruno Fernandez saying that he... Uh, United winning yesterday or winning all the games was to say Ganesh, uh, to say Van, uh, uh, Van Nistelrooy uh, a goodbye. This doesn't sound really well for a professional because when you're a professional, your loyalty is to the club, not really to the manager. Their loyalty is to the fans, not really to an individual. Your loyalty is to try to get the best of things. So I know Bruno is speaking from a from an area of um, honesty here. I think. United players, this is where we have had it wrong with Manchester in the past years, where we give players too much right. You won't see players in clubs like City or Real, Real Dream clubs, like drill clubs like Real Madrid, talking about, oh, we are winning just to say them a goodbye. I mean, Van Nistelrooy has been here, yes, since the beginning of the season. He was brought in by a manager. But if you look at it, I mean, as a manager, the first team, interim manager, has been for four games. In a period where players were so stuck with too much going on in their life, I think, to be honest, uh, this is not the right thing to do. We have had a lot of player FC in Manchester United, which we need to clear that out. For Amaron to be successful in Manchester United, he needs to have a homogenic club, homogenic player. Players should be on the same wavelength. If you are not in the same wavelength, then you have to leave the club. So, um, yeah, so uh, we'll, uh, good luck to the uh, Bannister Roy. I think Bannister Roy. I mean, he, he, yeah, I always tell people you're living the dream. Van Nistelrooy left the dream of his life coaching, playing for a club that you coach, not any type of club, Manchester United. I think that um, is uh, well uh, uh, documented. He, he has done a fantastic job. And I wish him all the best. I think he's going to be a good manager. Tell me what you think about Van Nistelrooy. Should he be an assistant? Should he be in Amaron's team? For those of you who answer this question, you are the guys who are the stars of the channel because most of you just click and go, you know. There is the, it's unfortunate that most of the fans of football today, they are there for just their clicks, you know. Videos, one second, that's it. They don't really go in depth when it comes to football. Sorry, unfortunate. But yeah, so uh, that's uh, it. Uh, let's come back to the game. We had this, uh, we had Ganacho's performance, which uh, he scored a goal, and most people 
we're saying um, Ganacho, he has an issue with Van Nistelrooy. Van Nistelrooy explained the reason why he kept Manacho on the bench. He said he had a lot of minutes. Maybe you should re uh, recharge yourself on the bench and we'll bring you up sometime along the game. And he came in and scored and Van Nistelrooy said I was happy that the whole tactic of what I wanted to do worked. He came in, he performed, he scored a goal. And um, look, football is a very easy game, to be honest. Some of you complicate it. I've heard this, uh, he's not playing for the manager. The manager comes and make his tactics. The manager, F it. F it. In football, it's quite simple. You have players who are ready to, to adapt to your system. They play firstly for their pride. They earn money, not for nothing. Secondly, they play for the club. They don't play for managers. If you want to say, you want to read the level in which players play, uh, the, uh, who are the priority of players, the manager has to be really low on the list. It has to be firstly the, the club themselves play for their pride. The manager has to be down. It shouldn't be that oh you play for the manager. I will, I will, I mean, this, this is the mentality of the English football press, which is like destroying the game with all this. This guy scored a goal, Ganacho. It will be always said it's his goal that he scored. It wouldn't be say, oh, uh, Van Nistelrooy scored a goal for Ganacho. No, it is Manchester United had a goal from Plevan Ganacho. It increases his stocks in the manage market, and that is where football has to be. I am saying that I'm not sure in the next five years I won't be watching football. And I want to tell you guys is I watch a lot of football, but I don't watch full football on the personal level. Why? Because football is not what it used to be in the 90s where you see players playing with their heart in the game. Now it's all about the new TikTok, the social media. If we can elect them, uh, 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 if the U.S. can elect a president who has all these issues, then... The world is going somewhere which uh, I cannot say much. So Ganacho, uh, I scored this goal, perfect for Ganacho. Oh, uh, yeah, and um, I think uh, as I said, the man of the match for me yesterday was Ogate. It was Ogate, and Ogate will be the cornerstone of of uh, Amaron's team. And the reason why I'm saying this is because for the way Amaron plays with a very high pressing, you need players of high energy for it to cope. And that's why I was thinking Bruno Fernandez shouldn't be a 10, and I think I still stick on that. But Bruno can play as a good 8 if we can get a proper 10. An 8 who goes up front and I'm going to pepper them. I've heard Paul Schools and the rest talking about that. Uh, Paul Schools came out and said, you know what, Casemiro is doing well. I got it. That could be the way going forward. But in a system where you play with four, three in the back, four in the midfield, three in the attack, you really need two. You need one guy who never goes ahead. That guy plays on you. That, in fact, in that system, the four of that system, which who he will be very mobile, will be Ogate. Because he'll be like a four a midfielder. You see what I mean? So he will be the pivot of the game. So this is why I, I think we United needs up. This is how you're thinking as a fan has to be. Because Ogate will be so important. The reason why he was going to urge a player like Casemiro is simple. It's because he got the energy... He will not be that maybe very creative, but the fact that he held, he got the legs in the Premier League, he, his efforts will be will override his talent. See what I mean? Someone was talking yesterday when I was uh, on Twitter, right on Twitter, that saying how can we get players like, like uh, um, energetic players in short? Yeah, but and there are a lot of them out there. McTominay was an energetic player, but I think they didn't fit the profile of Manchester United, honestly. So that's where we are. So uh, I think I gave the match, the man of the match for me to Ogate. Most of you were there. You watched the video yesterday. Thanks for all of you guys. We had over 200 uh, views in a tiny community that we have. Um, and, uh, but what's in most, what is more important is that we have some quality fans in this community, which I'm really proud of you guys. I think Ogate was good, uh, was, was, was almost good. Ganacho scored a goal. That was good for him, good for the club in general. I think Ahmad is so underrated. Ahmad will have a new contract. I'm interested to see where Ahmad is going to play because when you see uh, the way Ahmad plays, you know it's a player that can, um, it's the only player we have that is very good on the ball. He's way better than many. If Manchester United doesn't keep Ahmad on a long term contract, Ahmad will leave if he continues on this trajectory and get that exposure. He is uh, he's going to leave for a team which United is going to regret. So um, the five things we learned is that a short-term manager uh, can do the job, honestly. And uh, we also learned that Amaran has a very good, uh, a very difficult work ahead of him. He needs to come into manager and start kicking. Because look, 
the English players wants Van Nistelrooy to stay. The Manchester United fans with that experience would like Amaron to do go his own way and leave Van Nistelrooy, um, get Van Nistelrooy out of the picture because uh, some part of the community are saying it is dangerous for Van Nistelrooy to stay. It might affect the productivity of the new manager. Well, you are free. Football is an opinion business, but at the level of management, there is some level of understanding, if I'm making sense. So um, uh, that's where I am with, um, the, with my five things I learned. We learned that we can play well if we get the right structure. We have players who have the right mentality. A good example is this young man, Ganacho, who has been accused of many things in his last game. Very few players are on the rise. Very few players can keep a ball up. Diego Maradona said in the World Cup 1998, I will never forget that interview, about Zidane, he said, the easiest things to work hard, you go up. The most difficult thing to stay up. So um, yeah, any player can go or, or go and stay up. So guys, yeah, well, so we'll, um, I know we have just been going on and out, but we have learned about United has some resilience. We have the players to deliver. I didn't want to call his name, but I think Ten Hag was a little bit old school. It is already well documented. He was scared to make the tough decision. Maybe scared is the wrong way. He was, uh, he was stubborn to make the right decision. And uh, I think with Amaron coming, we we'll, we should be open minded with Amaron. We might we will lose games with Amaron. You, have you seen the games Amaron had? We will lose games. We will, we might lose against City because we don't have the same kind of players. And the Premier League is quite different. But what we should do is uh, Amaron. I will tell you guys what I told all the managers coming. Support your manager. Stay with him. The best way to go with Manchester United now is to just put in your head that we won't win anything this season. But let's play good football. And my last question for you is that should we go for good football against winning trophies? Will you take good football against winning trophies? Drop your comments below. I know most of you are watch this video to this end. Would you go for good football this season? A style of play, good football over winning trophies. Very important. Smash a like on the video. Get involved with the United Way, guys. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Share this channel to all your social media so we can get a bigger community. I don't want to talk about myself. I will start talking about myself, my situation, only when things must have stable. Without all said, guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.